I think by now many of you know that uh, gene can be functioning uh, very well or it can have a problem and be under functioning. There could be a variation or mutation that makes it not function very well. And there are workarounds for that. The genes have to have nutrients. They have to be fed. They have to have their own fuel to, to function. So even if you have a no variant, that gene may not be functioning very well because what you're really missing is something called the cofactors. Well, let's talk about a couple of genes. There's COMP, C-O-M-T. T, you yes. mentioned it a couple of times, so can we just tell people what that is? Sure. COMT is an enzyme. We know that there are at least 15 or 16 different genotypes. Um, and by a genotype, I mean like uh, if you take a diamond, a diamond is a rock, and, but a diamond has different facets to that one rock. That's what a genotype is. It's a facet of the rock. And COMT is an enzyme, so there are 16 different facets. The genotype, the V158M, is the genotype that we believe is needed to metabolize catecholamines. And catecholamines is a, is a whole group of uh, biochemical neurotransmitters, dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine, and that COMT enzyme is the enzyme, the catalyst that helps the metabolism of those molecules to come through um, the body. Very slowly, I just started walking into the other pathways and becoming more and more familiar and then realized that, oh my goodness, they are intertwined. They're like, you know, best friends and, and the molecules move in and out and are very fluid going from one to the other. One of the things that I hope comes as a result of the summit, more people learning about it, having, you know, just become common, that we commonly do this. I'm hoping that parent, parents or people, young people before their parents have their genes tested and they uh, know what their, what I call Achilles heel are and support that. And when somebody becomes pregnant, uh, and the, you know the egg and the sperm have come together, and there's something called removing methyl tags. Do you mind explaining that? If when the baby is developing in that very early, early uh, formation period, there's a window there that if the mother is taking appropriate nu nutritional supplements, like with the um, with the methylfolate. It can, it can help the developing embryo as it's developing their enzyme base to not be as problematic. So the mother being aware of her own genetic background mm -hmm. and circumventing some of those problems will directly affect the baby.